What has happened? They have summoned Flan. I hope he shows soon, if only to end this bickering. Speak. Lord, there has been much deliberation these last few days. News of Owen has spread like a mountain fire. The people are frightened. We are unsettled, to say the least. A trusted abbot unveiled as a pagan conspirator. The druids have permeated the church at the highest level. There's no telling how far down it goes. Something must be done. We must rid them of this land. Begin an inquisition. How dare you speak like this? Owen acted alone. He belonged to a sect. There are others like him. Do you deny it? I do not deny it. But then you will speak only of the children of Danu. A weed that grew from druid roots. If we allow it to thrive, how can we ever be certain this will not happen again? Flam, I do not like what these men are implying. Do not entertain this. You would presume to tell your king what to do? You, who share those druid roots. You even know this sect by name. Perhaps, like Owen, there is more to you than meets the eye. Bastard! Enough! Speak to her like that again, and rats will sup on you. Alive. Apologies, my king. Poetess. I do not mean to cast suspicion only to draw a very real comparison. We do not know from where the next threat will come. And we cannot simply hope that it will not come. We must put aside our differences and come together as Christians if we wish to preserve an Ireland under God. Flan, if you do this... I know well where you stand, Kira. Are there any others who wish to speak? I will. This gathering shows us something very clear. That there is solidarity in this cause. If we do nothing, the weeds will continue to sprout, leading to unrest across the kingdoms. But if we act, begin an inquisition. It will lead to unity this land has sorely lacked. These are my people, Siegfried! And there are those within who threaten the very fabric of this land. Can you really stand there and defend them? Anyone else? What is being proposed is a bold strategy, the consequences of which cannot be properly weighed just now. You must allow time to reflect, Lord. Every moment we waste weakens our position. Lord, we kings are all in agreement. There is but one move to make. We will launch an inquisition. Every druid will face a choice. Reform or <sighs> exile. The future of Ireland is a holy Christian one. Where did Kira go? Set off for her house, just down that road. Looked mighty upset. Kira's not of sound mind. I need to settle her down. <laughs> Kira! Get out! Leave me be! What is this? What are you doing? Flan, the spineless fool. What was he thinking? He saw an opportunity to unite the kingdoms. He seized it. It is what any king would do. Do not defend him. I am not. But consider what would happen if he ignored these allied kings. You're right to be upset. But you know Flan best. This was not a decision he made lightly. Let us go back and talk with him. 
If anyone can convince him to reconsider, it's you. Oh, I will. Whether he wants to or not. What? I am sorry, Eivor. I cannot let them erase us. <laughs> Eivor! Can you hear me? Eivor! Are you alright? Did you see Kira? I expected her here. Eivor? Oh. What is that? It's Kira. It must be. I do not know what she's trying to do, but she's angry. This is my fault. I must speak with her. It may be too late for that. She said she would not let you erase the druids. But what means would she use? The Lea Fall. I think she'll try to use it to stop you. A stone? It's an ancient part of her lineage. There may be more to it than myths and legends. I knew my decision would upset her. But I was certain she could find a way to understand me. It was no simple decision. By choosing one, you betray the other. Choices that weigh heavily require ample time to reflect, if you are to find the best outcome. I acted rashly. I listened to frightened men, Eivor. Men whose loyalty I hungered for. Clear your head, Lord. We're nearly there. Sword flown. Stay close to me. Eivor, what do we do? Fight! These are my men! He's an ammo here! Now fight! They will not listen. Kira has taken the reese in the house. Defend the sword! I cannot let you off this path! I do! This is too far! Listen to her, Kira! There could be peace between us! Keep your guard up. Kira! Where are you? Kira! Long. Ah! 
ways the stakes. How about the king's blood on your hands? Favor! Enough, Kira. Surrender now. Nothing but a ruthless raider, hollow inside. You speak of honor. Where is yours? You know. With Varith, his son, another pawn in this endless war. He has my blood. Ah, yes. And you will throw away all reason to defend what you are sworn to. I am no different. My people will live to see tomorrow, if it means I have to kill you today. You are unrelenting! Battle hardened over many victories. Do not make me add another. Do as you must. As will I. I would never see the Druids into darkness. Why pretend to be my ally? I pretended nothing. I thought. I hoped you could be better. Better than Owen. Don't compare me to that demon! No. Look around you. You set in motion what the Children of Dawnu hoped you could. You became the vessel for their plot. I... Always have been. After Mother died, I became the last. The last who could awaken the Leofal. Never did I think I would use this gift so foolishly. What now? It ends. Owen, the children of Thanu, they only exist in pursuit of the stone's power, and I am the key to unleashing it. You must kill me. Kill me, Eivor. If I die, Tara's power dies with me, and there will be nothing left to lead my people astray. The old ways will return. Let me do this. Let me save them. Please. You may be the key to this power, but the stone is the source. Destroy it. You know I cannot. Your ancestors are souls in another realm. They will not despair of this stone's loss. Sometimes we must sacrifice what we treasure most to protect the ones we love. Bury the past. Build the future.
until we meet again. Slowly. Kira. I bow my head in contrition. I fail you. I failed you and the true druids of Ireland. For that, I truly apologize. I will speak to the kings and undo my rash decision. The land you have wished for is secure. I hope it is so, Flam. Farewell. Farewell, Eivor. Where will you go? How are you feeling? Bruised. Battered. But I'll live. Though it'll take some time to reclaim my pride. Took a lot not to kill you. If you wanted to, that was your chance. <laughs> I suppose at the end of all this, it's safe to call you a friend. See to it that Sigfrid's reign is long, and you shall never know me as your enemy. Have you met with the other kings? I take it that is why you have come. I have. The Inquisition is buried. High King is a leader to all who share in his land. You helped me see that. My only regret is not having understood it sooner. You work to secure a future for all. Kiro would be pleased with this outcome. I know there is much that awaits you in England, Eivor. You can set your boots in Ireland any time you please. Farewell, Flan. Until we meet again. What do you think my father would make of all this? Barith wanted to ensure the Dublin he left you could stand upright on its own two legs. And while he could not see it through, he would be proud you did. I will never forget what you did for my family. Our family, Sigfrith. Keep well, and may your father's hooger be with you always. It shall with me. <laughs> <laughs>